here is a world-class facility where we have the ability to recreate planetary atmospheres inside this tank you see behind me. The goal of here is to simulate different atmospheres exactly as they would be on that planet, but do it here on Earth so that we could test out all the instruments, all the test articles under those exact conditions, but do it here on Earth ahead of time so that we are prepared and can have a successful mission for when we go to another planet. The gear vessel itself was uh, developed in 2012 to be able to handle the pressure and the temperature that we were looking for it to handle to simulate the Venus conditions as well as other exoplanetary uh, atmospheres. The advantage to gear is that it allows us to test things here on Earth, on the ground, before we send it into space. Spacecraft tend to be very expensive. We don't want to get there and fail. So part of that is testing here on Earth. What we do is fill this tank up with all the gases, temperatures, and pressures that you would see on any different planet or exoplanet in our solar system. We recreate those conditions and maintain them for long periods of time so that we can do research and testing here on Earth. First, we start off by understanding what the atmosphere on another planet is. And then we use our gas mixing system to blend gases in the specific ratios that you would see on that other planet. And we dial in temperature and pressure so that we perfectly hit all those conditions. The crazy part about gear is that the materials that we expose in there on Earth would have no problem. Stainless steel on Earth, on your fridge, or on your appliances, maintains its shine for a very long time. In gear, matter of hours, matter of days, all of a sudden it's this matte gray color, you know, things like that. Things that would you would think would hold up to almost anything here on planet Earth are just kind of barely holding on on Venus. So say for example you were to put a laptop inside of gear. First of all, the plastic around the laptop would melt. Even if your computer were made out of aluminum, it would start to corrode. The electronics inside wouldn't be able to withstand the heat, they would begin to fry. The metal inside would also begin to corrode. Probably spark, create a fire, it wouldn't last very long at all. Probably on the order of minutes. So here, we actually have to develop the electronics develop the materials, the structure around that laptop to be able to survive those extreme conditions, whether it was pressure, temperature, the chemical composition of the atmosphere, corroding everything, melting everything, turning into a pile of fiery goo. We can't have that on spacecrafts. You need gear to be able to accomplish your goal. The importance of gear is so that we can develop hardware and understand the science that goes into getting a rover that can survive on Venus or other planetary environments. Right now, there's no other way on Earth to simulate that condition without a chamber-like gear. And so this allows us to test at a relevant environment instead of just speculating and guessing of what it's gonna behave like up there. Venus is one of the closest planets to us, and we know very little about it. The atmosphere on Venus is very harsh, and the pressure is about 100 times that here on Earth. On top of all that, the chemistry, the atmosphere of Venus is extremely toxic. It's 96.5% carbon dioxide, which makes it an extremely difficult planet to understand and to learn about. There have been several missions to Venus in the past, in the 70s, 80s, 90s. They haven't lasted very long. Most failed after an hour or two, 15 minutes. Some didn't even make it through the upper atmosphere. What's cool about all these missions is that the little bits of information that we've been able to gather have all been compiled and have agreed enough that we were able to say, okay, this is what we think the atmosphere is like. And the idea here is to be able to recreate that harsh and toxic environment so that we can really get it right, so we can improve our technologies, we can develop them, we can enhance them, get them to the point where we know, okay, this is gonna work, now we're ready to go, let's do it. Our longest test to date has been 80 days. That's 80 days, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, um, at Venus surface conditions, all the while maintaining chemistry, temperature, pressure. 
and exposing materials to those conditions. And we can develop um, sensors, hardware, different components and materials that last that long. There's no reason why we couldn't go to Venus and have a long-lasting mission.